Hey everybody, Dave Duford here. Before we get started on this video with Luis Moreno talking about the ACA opportunity to sell health insurance to people under 65, I want to just let you guys know that this particular event where we filmed this at, we do on a monthly basis. It's called the Elite Agent Summit. It's where we bring in top producers to discuss how they are successful in their particular insurance sales and marketing niche. For example, we have speakers that come in and talk about final expense face-to-face -face sales and final expense telesales and how to cross-sell like a pro. Also, we have speakers that come in and talk about their success and how they're successful selling Medicare face-to-face, -face, Medicare over the phone, annuity sales, under 65 health insurance sales, and much more. These events are conveniently located at places across the country and are very affordably priced so that even new agents can come in, buy a ticket, and really experience a great opportunity learning in this one day in-person boot camp. Again, if you want to learn more about how these events work, go to EliteAgentSummit.com. You should see a links above or below in the chat. And if you'd like to learn more about joining the Ford Insurance Group, go to DavidDuford.com and then click the FAQ button at the top. So without further ado, let's take it away. Okay, so why should you be selling ACA plans? All right, I just told you it sucks, it's too hard. Over there, David's not smart enough to pass the certification. Why do you want to sell ACA? Come on, g g come on, man. Tell me why. It's a great e way to Medicare. It's a, it's a pot of gold. Okay, you're planting some seeds that are going to eventually, they're going to grow up at age 65 and you got T65 leads. Perfect. Yes, come on. There's another, why do you want to sell ACA? Yes, sir, tell me. You pay. It pays money, right? Get some commissions, great. What else? Cross-selling. It's what? Cross-selling. Cross-selling to sell something else. Oh, cross-selling, perfect. It's a great way to do it. Networking. Networking, yes. Oh, man. Okay, here's what I was thinking as the why. ACA plans are super easy to quote. Guys, they are easy to quote, all right? If they're easy to quote, they're probably easy to enroll, okay? Super easy. ACA plants pay well. $20 a year, Kathy. <laughs> All right, she told me over there outside, ACA is terrible. They only pay $20 a year. Okay, guess what? You all FE people that are on that little uh, hamster wheel, that money that you make, the advance commissions, is that real spendable money? No. I tell people, no. You've got your fingers crossed that that insurance not gonna die, charge back, or that they're gonna cancel. When you get ACA money, it's real money that you can go spend that month. Why? Because it's as earned. So you get your ACA check, go spend it. You don't have to worry that your insurance are gonna cancel. And I'm going to talk about the money here in a minute. Oh, the bonuses. Guys, there are some serious bonuses. Ser I mean, you're thinking, ah, it's a couple grand. No, I'm going to blow your mind here in a minute with the bonuses. Okay. Say again. Five dollars? <laughs> probably, probably, Kathy. We're going to go with five dollars. Yes, ma'am. Where are the prospects? They're freaking everywhere, guys. If they're not on Medicare, guess what? It's everybody else. The prospects are everywhere. And guess what? You don't have to pay for the certification, and it's about a third of AHIP. You can take the test 50 times. Now, here's the deal I tell agents. It's, some of you guys are not that smart. Sorry. There's, the questions are multiple choice. There's four answers. If you miss, if A is wrong, the next time you take the test, what do you do? B. <laughs> if B is wrong, C. By the fourth time, Jesus Christ, you should be able to get the right answer to that question. And I still get, I'm on my age, try to help me. I'm like, you have got to be kidding me, bro. You're, there's only four answers. So you, take pictures, all right? Save them. It is, I, I'm telling you, insurance agents, we're all on the same boat. Okay. All right. Let me tell you, this is how easy it is to quote. We're going to give you the software to quote. Why are we going to give it to you? Because it's free. Okay? All right? <laughs> All right. This is how you quote, guys. Take a look at the screen. Pay attention to this thing. There are three, category, or three uh, columns. This is the column of who is applying for coverage. You, you can't screw this up. 
although many agents do. Okay, who is applying for coverage? You need a zip code, you need an age or date of birth, because somebody would always screw up this and mess it up. You know their gender, you're gonna add the spouse or any dependents. Column one. Column one is who is applying for coverage. Column two, how big is the household? The tax household. Not how many people really live in the house. Okay, I'm Mexican, just so y'all know, probably don't, but Mexican, sometimes you have 20 people in one house. And how many more can fit in the house? <laughs> My house, one more. Okay, I'm like, hey, it's, it's me, okay, anyway. But we don't care how they really live. What we care about is what is their, their tax return look like, their tax household. So how many people in the household? What is their income? The entire house, mom, dad, and if a kid is working, we need the entire income. Then the third one is the results of what you just entered here, okay? So they're gonna qualify for some savings and some CSRs, and I'll talk about that here in a minute. This is what the quote looks like. You're, these are the results you're gonna get. So we, I put two plans here, I put two other ones here, and literally with ACA people, it's all about premium. I got plans that are zero, and it just, you'll get them all in, in order from the lowest premium to the highest premium. And then guess what? They've made it so simple for us. We can check the drugs, just like we do in Medicare. We can check the doctors, just like we can do in Medicare. I can pull up the summary of benefits by clicking on the benefits. And then to enroll, all I have to do is add it to the cart and proceed. Super easy. I can even hit compare, compare, put them on a compare and sh uh, send it to the insured. So easy to do. Okay. Uh, all the carriers? Yes. When you go into your quoting software, it will, you choose the carriers that you're appointed with. Because there are some carriers that pop up that don't pay commissions. Like Medicare or for each carrier, you got to do that. Like, I think it takes forever. Does that one take forever too or not today? You know, where you have to train? There's only one certification. With Medicare, you have to do AHIP and then you have to do each carrier. With, Medic with ACA, just one. And then the, here's the, the cool thing. When you recertify, it takes five minutes. It's click, 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 done. Beautiful on the certifications. All right, let's rock and roll. All right. Now, what I was gonna do, but I know David here is gonna raise this freaking, you got five minutes. Uh, I was gonna have you guys practice doing quotes. Well, I'm not gonna do that. We just don't have the time. But guys, take out your cameras. No, don't take out your cameras. We can't do it right now. But I was gonna have you run through some quotes. Super easy. Okay, I really went through a lot of work to create these scan codes. All right, it's not easy for, for, for me to do this. But anyway, QR code, whatever, it takes you to the quoting software. We just don't have the time for it. But here's what I'll do. Yes. Yeah, uh, there's no pre-existing uh, conditions, correct? That is correct. No health questions at there's all. No underwriting, really. It's just finding a way to get them in. Yeah. That's it. So. Very simple, uh, I don't think I have the results, I was gonna have you guys do it, but we can do a single person. Okay, very easy to do. I was gonna have you guys do it. Okay, this is the way some of the quote screens look. Super easy to do. And I was gonna run through it, but I know I'm not gonna have enough time. So I'm just gonna go through these examples. Let me get to my next one. Is that face-to-face -face only? Or? No, I do, 90% of mine is over the phone. Okay, these people are working, they're at home. I just sold one when I was out there. Okay, super easy to do. Okay, okay, I'm just getting a little more complicated. Some of these are a little complicated. Uh, hold on. How do they I didn't know I was going to get this confined to time. Do you have to sign for it at the end, like e sign? Or... All right, now we're talking. Now we're talking, all right. So, question about signing there is no signatures required for ACA. At the very end, Mr. Insured, do I have your permission to sign your name on this application? You type in their name, done. That easy. Okay, all right, do me a favor, okay? Ah, uh, somebody already did it, okay? It's all right, Donna, you're the first one. I'm gonna give you a prize. All right, scan this thing, guys, okay? Because I'm not gonna have enough time to do everything that I want. Do your little phone thingy and Literally, guys, it is so easy to make that 100K in 45 days. You're going to be like, damn it, Luis. Do I do Medicare or do I do ACA? Which one do I do? Guess what? You have the capability of doing both. Isn't, isn't it all 
Man, you're just getting all kinds of bad intel, Kathy. Awful intel. Your intelligence officer, you need to shoot him in the head. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna hand it. Did you say they don't have to sign, you just have to give verbal permission? You just talk to them when you're, you're like, I'm, I'm signing. So on ACA, the folks that understand email don't have to. With Medicare, the folks that don't understand email, we have to get them to do that. Exactly, Ethan. So do me a favor, guys. Watch it later. Don't watch it now. I'm, I'm short on time, okay? Subscribe to the channel. I'm always putting tons of ACA stuff up there. Okay, let's talk some money. All right, I'm gonna blow your mind, Kathy, because you you just told me I'm not ever gonna do this, Luis. It's twenty dollars a year. Okay, how does ACA pay? Check it out, guys. Okay, you guys already know this. ACA pays as earned, real money that you can spend. Okay, not advanced. You're like, I don't like advanced. I don't know what I mean. I don't like as earned. I don't know why agents don't like as earned. Okay. Does anybody know what PMPM PM stands for? David's giving me like, oh, what's PMPM? PM? What? Uh, per, member per, per member. She's on top of it. Per member per month. Okay, think, just remember that term. Per member per month. Is it pain managed? What? Pain. Oh, God. Pain, ma pain makes pain manageable. All right. Uh, it, this is my kid at the office doing this. Per member per month, or is it periodical maintenance per month? All right, we already know. It is, it is per member per month. Now, I am going to do an example. Commissions vary. Okay, they vary by carrier. They vary by state. So I'm just, my example is $20 per member, Kathy, per month. Now we're talking. We're talking Medicare money now. Right? Okay. Let's do some math here real quick. Family of five. You're making $100 a month. I can't live on that, Luis. Well, annualize it. That's $1,200 on an app that took you five minutes. If you're super slow and you type in, you didn't take typing in high school, okay? I mean, you'll, you'll spend 20 minutes, click, 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 click. But on a family of five, you can make $1,200 a year on one ACA policy. And that family of 20 Mexicans, that's 400 a month. <laughs> I have a lot of dependents. I need those tax credits. I need the deductions. <laughs> Beautiful, man. Yes, yes, that is correct. I love, now the, here's the problem with that. Most, all carriers only pay up to five members per month. That's it, they do cap it. So if you got a family of 10, you're out of luck. At five, it's gonna get capped. So, is there money to be made with this? You're like, heck yeah, there is. There's a ton of money to be made on this thing. Okay, you're gonna see, you're gonna see my numbers. You're gonna be like, man, what is this guy doing? Okay, you enroll a husband and wife, a household of two, 40 bucks, but that's, that's a $500 commission. Okay, we're almost near FE money with no headaches. All right, let's do some math. You write 100 members. That could be 25 families of four, and you're making 24,000 a year. I've got a little over 3,000 heads. Working 45 days a year. Do they auto renew, or do you gotta come back and renew them? I have two staff that started helping me. They auto renew, we can't get to everybody. But I got, I got, my, I got scan codes everywhere. Uh, so some people, I don't even know who they are. I don't know where they're coming from. That's the beauty of ACA. People can self-enroll with your, with your link. Okay. I don't know what this says. Okay, here's the other deal. Why do you want to do ACA? You Medicare guys. You old guys like, oh, I want to do Medicare. I don't want to do ACA. What do you do when you do the Medicare for one spouse and the other spouse is 63? You gotta take care of that other spouse. Send them to me and I'm gonna steal that Medicare from you too. I do everything. I'm ruthless. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw you under the bus and I'm gonna take that Medicare and that ACA. I, I know, man. I got, a, I got three kids, bro. Okay, I got three kids and, all right. So, guys, 
Medicare agents, you have to do ACA because you got to take care of that spouse in the house. <laughs> FE agents, how many of your people are under 65? And low income, that's ACA, high target people. Couldn't think of another word. Okay. So it's super easy to get 100. All right, let's talk about this, the enrollment seasons. Somebody just said, oh, but you can't enroll anymore. All right, we have, just like Medicare, we have an open enrollment. We have a democratic administration right now. Obamacare is a democratic product. Of course, they helped us out this year as agents. What did they do? They extended open enrollment. They gave us an extra month. All these years, past couple years under the Trump administration, we had 45 days, November the 1st to December 15th. New administration, they added a month, okay? We have SEPs, just like we do in Medicare, okay? So if you're thinking, I'm gonna wait till the enrollment starts, no, 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 get it done now, because there's tons of people losing healthcare. How are they losing healthcare? Changing jobs. There's all kinds of reasons why they're losing healthcare. And if, or they're getting married, they're relocating. You can still write a ton of business throughout the year. What about adding, you know, they get, they're married and they have a kid. What if they get divorced? What if they get married? There's a ton of reasons that could create a household change. They moved, they relocated. They were up here and they moved over here. Well, that plan, they're probably gonna lose it because it's county specific, just like Medicare. So they lose it, now you got a reason to write them. They gain citizenship, okay? This, if you can get with some immigration attorneys, go mine. Ton of people getting their resident alien cards. They get that green card, you got, a, a, you got an SCP to enroll them. They got a jail. Hey, it happens all the time, I'm getting a ton of people. You help one out, geez, they hang out with other criminals. <laughs> it's the way it is. You help my buddy. Yeah, hell yeah, I can. Send them to me. Okay. All right, check this out. There is a rumor. There is a rumor going around. The rumor is that there's going to be a year-round SCP for very low-income people. So you're thinking, oh, I'm not gonna, I can't write business all year long, Kathy, uh-huh. See, they're lying to you, and it's probably my buddies that are lying to you that are making a ton of money. Um, so there's gonna be year-round enrollment for people that make under 150% of the federal poverty level. You're like, what's that? Guess what, that's in my smart book. I love my smart books. These people, if you can find them, they're gonna get zero dollar plants. Silver plants, great plants. But they're terrible, no, they are great plants, okay? These plants have CSRs, I'll talk about, about the, if I have time I will talk about that. Okay, so, I put this little chart for you here. Okay, so, open enrollment, according to what I know right now, November the 1st of this year it starts. You need to start getting prepared now. November will be here around immediately. You're gonna, we're gonna do enrollments, that should have been January 15th, that's a typo, okay. From the 16th on, it's nothing but special enrollments. Unless we get that 100 to 150% that is rumored. It's supposed to start in March, okay. So what I keep hearing is, it starts in March and it's gonna be effective for people in April the 1st, on April the 1st. Huh, my kid. All right, check it out. How do we find prospects? Again, you guys, I was talking to Chad earlier, and like any, anybody can sell and make this kind of money, can make great money. If you can get in front of enough people, where do you find people? What does that look like to you? A what again? That's not a grocery store down here. You're close, you're close. Flea market. I love my flea markets, guys. Who shops at the flea market? Everybody does. Hey, low income people especially. I love my flea market. I go on Saturday and Sundays, I take my kids, we sell, I, if I could sell my kid, I would. <laughs> okay, so where do, where do we find people? Check it out, guys. 
Okay, you're sitting here thinking, Luis, I'm buying into this thing. I love show me the money. I love the fact that I know I can make some money. Where are you going to find prospects? What's your existing, Bob? Book of business. Book of business. Call all of your FE. Call all of your Medicare. Knock them out. Hey, I am now doing Obamacare. I can help you with this. All right, let's go. You, what about all those leads that you guys are buying? I'm sure if they're a dead lead, you don't get rid of them. If you are, ugh. But you're probably keeping a database of all those leads. Start calling all those people. <coughs> start working your old leads and start working your new leads that you're getting. All right, you all know I'm a PNC guy. I have a huge agency in San Antonio. Guess what happens with PNC guys? We stay in our lane, except for me. Okay, most PNC guys, all they want to do is PNC. Network with these guys. Go to your existing PNC guy and say, hey, I want to talk to you. You know how you, you know how you get his attention? I want to cancel the policy. <laughs> Unless you talk to me. He, oh, he, oh, come on in. <laughs> I get a cancellation. I was like, come on in. Yes, let's talk. So talk to your guy. Say, I want to cancel, but let's have a meeting first. You will get that meeting in a heartbeat. Get that meeting with your PNC guy and let him know what you do and become the partner. And if he doesn't give you that business, find another PNC. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> find a PNC guy that will. Networking with CPAs. My CPA is sending me business all the time. Okay, I've got some uh, Liberty Tax people, the H&R Blocks people. That, you know what they need? When they're following taxes, what form do they need to finish the tax return? 1095. It is hard for the insurance to get them. Tell the tax people, I'll get them for you and send them to you. I'll make your life a little bit easier. You, you're getting prospects. Okay, cannot beat that. Working with, with CPAs, all right, there's my open air flea market. I love the flea markets. They're super, super expensive to open up a booth, right? No. No. I paid 27 on Friday. I paid 37 on Saturday. I think I paid 20 something on a Wednesday. Super cheap. And I only go for a couple hours. And I got my spot next to the lady that makes coffee and tacos and we were working out a great deal in the morning. <laughs> okay, community events. I've got a guy in my office who's renting a little spot in my office, and what this guy is doing, he, he got a trailer, he decked it out, just, just a little uh, uh, box trailer, put Medicare on one side, put AC on one side, and he goes to the HOA associations, and he'll do like the events. When the parents are inside doing things, he'll put a, he'll put a little uh, field goal, and he'll have the kids kick it, and then he does a presentation at these community events. He's got ACA, he's doing great doing community events. Networking with your doc. Hey, your doc's a businessman. He's a doctor, but guess what? He's a businessman. He's trying to make a living. Talk to your doctor. Hey, doc, what plans do you take? I take this one, this one, this one. Hey, send me your people that are uninsured. Hey, why not? They can do that. My doc sends me people all the time. I get a text and I get an email. Hey, we got this guy who doesn't have insurance. Can you help him out? Also, how about free leads? free leads right now okay who where can you go get free leads help on demand guys it's a program on healthcare.gov you sign up when people request help they send you the information and you get free leads you just call them up hey this is Luis I just got a notice from healthcare.gov I'm here to help you enroll how can I help you I'm stuck I'm gonna unstuck you somebody just made fun of me because that's not a real word it's like me, I, ha I say a lot, I say more better all the time. And they're like, unstuck is not a word. All right. All right, check it out. There I am, guys. Okay. Here's the other thing. Now, literally, that's what I do. I'm at the flea market. Okay. The other deal that I will tell you, share the story that ACA sucks. <laughs> and tell your colleagues, don't do it. You're not smart enough to pass a certification test. And it's awful and there's no money. So here's what I want you to do, amigo. Send them to me. I'll give you 50 bucks. All right? Remember, you're, you're going to come out way ahead no matter what. Well, I haven't even got to the bonuses Where yet. Uh, I'm, I'm glad you asked, Mark. All right. QR code this, please. All right. Perfect. Hey, we talked. Uh, no, we did not talk. I, he had no idea. Guys, I have a lady that does all my stuff. Take the QR code, call her up. 
and she'll ship whatever you want. She does my tablecloths. These things are reversible. Obamacare on one side, Medicare on the other. She does my signs. I have yard signs all over my yard in my office. I have A-frames. All that stuff that I have at the, uh, at the flea market, I get it from her. Okay, I have my guys. Now here's the deal, I'm not dumb. I take two of my girls to the flea market, not my daughter, but two of my employees. And I tell them, hey, they don't stand behind me at the table, they're up at the front. And all they're doing is they're passing out these hard stock cards. I get a stress ball and I throw it at people and they're like, hey, what's going on? You need insurance? Remember, there's no rules with ACA, no compliance. You can chase people down, you can do whatever you want with ACA. You can door knock ACA. Why aren't you doing ACA? All right, everybody get this QR code. Say again. Free leads. Free leads? What's the website? Help, help on, it's, it's help on demand. Dot com? Yes, I believe so. Uh, help, help on demand. Okay, guys, um, check this out. We talked about the commissions. The commissions are good. You know, you, you, you've heard the rumors are terrible. Every carrier this year, or most of them, I know one that is not, every carrier is paying a freaking bonus. I'm, it's a lot, am I last? No, there's a panel after me. Guys, you, I don't, you, you gotta love this. All right, check it out. With, and these are just three carriers, okay? Aetna, you write nine heads, not nine policies, nine heads, you get nothing. How about that, okay? You write anywhere between 10 to 24 heads, they pay you a $25 bonus for each head, okay? You write 50 heads or more, you're gonna get a $75 bonus for each one, okay? Look at United. You write 150 heads, you get 150 policies, $150 per head, not per policy, per head. So if you write 100 heads, what's your bonus? Come on, man, what's your bonus? 100 heads, $150. No, 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 yeah. 15 grand. Okay, but of course the math is not working out here. Let's change it up. You write 200 heads. You write 200 heads, what's your bonus with United? 30K. Guys, that, I, I, you know, if you can't get excited about the commissions and these bonuses, and the, Oscar, look at Oscar. 200, this is supposed to be 100 bucks. There's a typo there. You write 250 heads, you make a $100 bonus on each member that you write. But we used to pay that lump sum or? Lump sum in June or July. And all the insureds have to do, they have to be on the books for three months. January, February, or March, or February, March, April. Then the insurance company does what they do and then get ready for your check. Party on. My wife does not know about this. <laughs> okay, this is my money, baby. <laughs> All right? She knows about my commissions, so she don't know about the bonus. All right? What if you write 300 with UHC? Somebody help me out. Do, you, do they do, will you double the bonus? I, I got the smart math guy over here. How much, what's 30, what's 300, man? I lost him. How much? 45K. 45K, bro. So they will, they will continue paying, it's not one bonus. No, it's one bonus for the, for, you're still making commissions every month. No, no, what I mean is if you write 150, you're gonna make your bonus check. You write another 150, you're getting another. Oh no, if you're, you're anything beyond the 150, every head you're getting a $150 bonus beyond that. So write 500 heads and you're like at, what, 70 grand, just on a commission, oh, just on a bonus. The bonuses are stupid. I've never seen them this good. They are all competing for your business. Just FYI, he just got his Tesla with one of his bonus checks, right? <laughs> right? Baby, cash, baby. How do you want to finance? We finance, what's wrong with you? I don't finance anything, knucklehead. So I told the sales guy, I'm paying cash. Yes. So guys, the bonuses are awesome. Okay, you have got to want to do this. If you don't want to do this, partner up with me. I'll take care of you. <laughs> okay, do me a favor. Certification. Okay, scan this code. Man, I got crazy with my QR codes this time. All right, for those of you that want to do this, I created a walkthrough. And I knew I was going to get emails. I'm like, I don't want to be emailing everybody. So I created this. It is a PDF that you're going to get. It is, this is a government site. It is awful. You would think they would have it. No, you got to go from here to here to here to here. It is not an easy site to navigate. 
So I created a walkthrough. That, yes, sir. Is that in your YouTube, uh, you know? <laughs> this right here? No. It's just, it's, it's just a PDF that you're going to be able to download. If you're already certified, you should have to go for recertification. If you're, you don't have to be certified. <clears throat> yeah, this is just a one time a year certification. One time a year. This is mainly for the new people. All right. You think it's over, guys? Okay. All right. I talked to you about how much time do I have, David? Talking about this money. You got all the time. Oh, you hear that? Stay, hold on. One more time. One more time. Talking about this cash. You got all the time you need. There you go, David. Put that time card away. All right. Check it out. So let's talk more money. Okay. More better. More money. So you got commissions. You got bonuses. Okay. At this point, let's check it out. Okay. So, I, I, I did go nuts with my QR codes. I mean, and once you figure out how to do something, they're like, oh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I love it. Okay, so we package sell every ACA. What I did here, what do you think we package with ACA? What do you think we package with ACA? Yes, sir, hit me. Deno and Vision, beautiful. What else? You can do life if you want to, because there's no rules. You can throw cancer in there. Hips, shake those hips, baby. Yes, yeah, so you can do hips. Indemnity plants. You can definitely add hip plants. Here's what I did. These QR codes, there are links to videos that I shot with every rep. So this QR code is going to take you to the training that I did with the emeritus rep. Emeritus right now, emeritus, however you want to pronounce it, incredible. My dentist, I've been going to two years. I could never get him to send me any business. I wrote one client up with this one, and now they're like, can we send you everybody? And it's because they are paying well. Okay, super easy, you get a contracting link, you can post it wherever you want on your website, you can, you can social media, people sign up, you get paid. Which license does that fall under? Life in, uh, under the health side, well, you know what? I don't know, I get the life in health. <laughs> the other product, okay guys, you have got to get National General. Okay, how do you get National General? You go through your upline and you request it. Why do you need National General? Because they have an accident plan and they have a sickness plan. And I'm gonna show you how I cross sell. It is super easy. All right, if you can scan them, I hope it works for you. But if you subscribe to my channel anyway, you'll get the videos there. So all these are shot with the reps. I've got the reps explaining their products. You will love these products and you'll, you'll quote them with every ACA policy that you do. Now, oh, there's your cancer plan, there you go. I don't do a lot of cancer plans, but this is the Emeritus product. Okay, this is where I wanted to spend a little time because a lot of you guys don't even know how dental works. A little hard to see, but they have two plans that they offer. No, they have three plans, sorry. They have the, 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 the Basic plan, which doesn't do a lot, it's preventative. Then they have two good ones. And really the biggest difference is, it's about a $2 difference in premium. One covers $2,000 in benefit, the other one covers $2,500 in benefit. Super easy, I send this to my insurance, which one do you want? With every dental plan, guys, and this is what I'm gonna do a little dental 101. There's three coverages. There's preventative, there's basic, which is the small stuff, because they don't understand basic. And then there's major, which is the big stuff. So when I'm talking to an insured, I'm gonna say, look, the small stuff that they do, they do to your teeth is basic. The big stuff, like crowns, bridges, implants, that's major, okay? Let's look at this plan, a little hard to see, but what happens is, and this is why I love uh, Emeritus so much. When you go get your teeth clean, you don't use your money, okay? It's built in. You don't use it. If when you go do basic stuff, the first year they cover 65%, the second year they cover 90%. They have day one coverage, immediate. Major, the first year 15%, second year and thereafter, they cover 50%. Not bad. All plans on major are at 50%. I don't know of a dental plan that covers more than 50% on a major. Okay, you can't beat that. The difference here is Year one, you get 1,000. Over here, you get two after year one. On this one, you get 2,000 to start off with, 
and then you get 2,500. Easy sell. You make some good commissions. Okay, I send that. I let my insurance, a lot of, it's my, my quoting tools on my email. I let them enroll. I mean, it is just easy money. Here's the vision plan. Vision. These guys go crazy for vision. Vision on the insured side really isn't a great deal, guys. But why not? If they want it, sell it. It's 10 bucks a month. You've got two plan options there. I'm not going to waste time on that one. But vision covers your exam and a pair of glasses. And then it covers your lens, your, your different kinds of lenses. Okay, this is where I want to spend some time. David, why'd you give me those ice when I said National General? Or is it your allergies? You didn't give me the ice? Okay, National General, guys. So when I go quote somebody, depending on their income and depending on the, the parameters of the family and how, how it all plays out, the worst case for somebody is an 8,700 out of pocket. What does that mean for the insured? Anybody want it? Come on. 8,700 is your maximum out of pocket. They have to pay that. Uh, that's your deductible. Uh, so you're, that's your maximum out of pocket. So until then, everything else is on you. It's on you. Exactly. You may have some co pays for doctors. You may have co pays for your prescriptions. But if you get hospitalized or you go get an MRI, you go to the emergency room, you may have an 8,700 out of pocket. Okay, these people don't have 8,700. Okay, I have 8,700, but I don't want to pay 8,700, okay? So what I do is I package sell this national general plan, okay? Check it out. I can add this accident. This accident plan will reimburse the insured the 8,700 bucks. I sold a family of four yesterday. The accident was $52 a month, family of four. I told them, you're in an accident, your kid's in an accident, doesn't matter who's in an accident, that $8,700 that you're responsible for, this plan will just give it to you. Then you decide what you want to do with it. So in an accident, he's not out any money. I go to the next one. Cancer, heart attack, and stroke. Same scenario. Okay, I don't, I don't add this one in here. The one that I like to add is this sickness. If they are hospitalized due to a sickness, including COVID, it writes them a check for 8,700 bucks. When I told him that, my premium went from 52 bucks to 150 something. The guy just said, I'll do it. Great commissions, piece of cake, two packet sale. I'm sorry, where'd you get the 8,700 from? It's at the very, when you quote, uh -huh. and you get, when, when I show those quotes, it, it, it's just, that's just the maximum. It's 87 and change. It's just the, the worst case scenario. Somebody who has a low income, that will ratchet down. I've seen as low as $625 for those at the very bottom of the income level. Cancer one's not a good deal? Or? Uh, it is, but I'm, I throw it out there, um, I don't have good luck with it. I have real good luck with the accident and the sickness. Okay, so let's talk about self skills 101 because I'm gonna tell you all, agents are terrible. I, I've been using the word suck a lot, so I'm gonna go to terrible now. Okay, agents, you guys, I don't know why, I, I train people on this and I don't know why people sell it. It's like the hit plan. Why don't you guys offer it? I don't understand how the kid at McDonald's or the kid at Chick-fil-A can upsell you like a pro and you professional agents cannot cross sell to save your life, okay? So this is what we do. When I go to my office, somebody comes to me and I quote them. I go in there and I quote. I don't give them the price. But let's assume the price is 50 bucks. Okay, I already know that, 50 bucks. My insurer doesn't know that. I'm gonna go quote their dental and vision I'm gonna go quote a package. I'm gonna quote the accident and the sickness. Sometimes I may do this, but again, I don't have luck. I'll quote these two, and then I will give them one total price. That's all I do, okay? And if they say, yeah, I'll take it, then I will break it down for them, okay? That's all that I do. It's that easy, guys. I did work at McDonald's. I can sell like a pro, okay? so. It is easier to go from a high premium and work your way down as opposed to starting with a low premium and work your way up. You tell, a seat, you tell anybody, it's 50 bucks, and you try to add dental and vision, it's another 40 bucks. Oh, no, 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 they're focused on that 50 bucks. But if you tell them 200, that's the number that's already in their head. Well, I can't afford that. What can you afford? 
Maybe you need to take away the vision. Maybe you take away whatever, okay? Um, but it's easier to work your way down from a high number to a low number. You're better off putting the hospital and uh, cancer instead of the dental. The dental vision is going to be the first thing that falls off. If, if, they, if they cancel anything, they're going to cancel the dental vision. So and you're, you're protecting them more with the, with the yeah. hospital. And, and I would even say, if you're a good life guy, why don't you throw life quotes? Yeah. I, I suck at life. Ooh, God, we quote, I mean, we, I mean I, I, we sell about 100 life policies a year. I mean, that makes me great in the PNC world, but in the real world, it's not very much. There we go. For the life of me, I don't know why agents can't cross sell. All right, I got no idea. So the kid can do it at McDonald's, at Chick-fil-A. Hey, would you like fries with that? You know, do you want to upsize that? God, they get me every single time. All right. Now, I've been telling you guys, ACA, ACA, ACA. So now you're looking at making ACA commissions, ACA bonuses, dental and vision commission, national general accident commissions, and the money gets serious really, really quick. But is ACA the answer for everybody? Oh, I got plenty of time, man. All right. Is ACA the answer, guys? Can you make money doing something else? What else is there besides ACA? Regular health care. There's what? Regular health care if they're over the income for ACA. Short term, long term. Okay, let, let, let's talk about regular health care. Is there regular health care? <laughs> guys, the regular health care is gone. Okay, you may get insurance through the marketplace or you can go to a carrier like Blue Cross, whomever, and purchase it there. It's the same thing. Okay, you just can't go to Blue Cross and buy a policy right now. It's not gonna happen. Do you have to have an SCP to get in? It's like buying an iPhone. You can buy it at AT&T or at the Apple Store. It's the same phone. It just depends on where you're getting it. Okay, so regular insurance is out the door. But what can you do? Somebody said it over here. You can sell a couple of products. Okay, so this is what, and I do sell this. What happens if you miss the enrollment and you can't get in? Let, let's say ACA is the answer, but you can't get them in. Okay, you miss the enrollment. Okay, they miss the deadline. What if they make too much money to get any kind of assistance? What if they're in between jobs? Hey, I quit this when I lost my plan. I started over here, but my plan, I have to wait 90 days. What are you going to do in between those 90 days? What if, they, what if they're super healthy and all they want is something major? All right, so here are your options, guys. Short term. If you don't have any short term carriers, you need to get some. Okay, you can get United Health One. National General has a product. And guess what? If you're in a state that has a lot, like Texas, we got a lot of people who aren't, aren't there legally. Short, uh, United Healthcare, no, United won't do it. But National General, you can sell them a short term plan. And they don't have to be legal. Hey, talk to some immigration attorneys, because guess what? They can't get their citizenship without having a short term plan. No. Short term, you write all year long. Okay. Okay. On the short term side, just to let you know, there's PPO networks or there's some plans that have no networks. They can go wherever they want. Okay. <clears throat> Guys, short term plans, the premiums are cheaper if they get no subsidies. If they get no assistance, short term plans are cheaper. But what's the problem with short term? Exactly. Underwriting. Let's see if this pops up. Okay, the commissions are good with that one. They're easy to quote, easy to issue. But here's the problem. Short-term plans are fully underwritten. Okay, you got to ask them. There are going to be a ton of questions. Okay, on short-term, they only cover new sicknesses, new illnesses, new accidents. No pre-existing. And I can never keep this straight. No pre-existings, but as far as a look back, I think most carriers look back two years. They don't, know, they don't underwrite at the front side, they underwrite on the back side. So that means you can issue it by answering the questions, but if an insured lies, 
they're going to do their due diligence. They're going to check the records or whatever. And if they find that they had, that this was a pre-existing, they're not going to pay for it. All right. Here's what I have found, guys. Okay, this is again. I remember I shared with you with seniors why there's why why there's such a need. These are the most seven common errors that I or common yeah common errors that I have seen from insureds in Obamacare. Number one, a lot of these guys don't want to enroll with you. Why? Because they think they're going to pay more money if they go through you. Is that a fact? It's the same price, and I tell them, guys, it's the same price. Help me out. I got three kids. Let me enroll you. Don't go direct. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get you the same price. And plus, you can come to my office and do whatever you want, hang out. I'll help you out. Okay, if there's documents you need to submit, I'm going to take care of them for you. Okay, help me out. Enroll with me. Okay, so the prices, they think it's more expensive going through an agent. Here's the other one. A lot of people choose the least expensive plants, and they've got no idea that... A silver plan, which is one of the better plans, will maybe cost a little bit more, but the out-of-pockets are super cheap. An example, a silver, a good silver plan, $600 out-of-pocket. Maybe they pay 10 bucks. A bronze plan, they'll pay zero and 8700 out-of-pocket, but they don't understand it. And so sometimes choosing the least expensive plan is going to screw them. Can you take somebody, like, say they're already in a silver, and I think they came up with, like, a silver plus or something, and, like, catch the commission by doing that? You're close. It went from bronze, and they upgraded to an expanded bronze. And a lot of carriers did away with bronze plants. So somebody who enrolled themselves last year or whatever, and given that it's open enrollment, or they have a special event, can you take that person and then upgrade them? And capture the commission. So during open enrollment, guys, during open enrollment, you can capture as much business as you want. That's why I'm work the flea markets. Okay, I don't pick up a lot of new business. I pick up a lot of existing business. Who do you have your plan with? I have it, whatever. Let me look at it. All I need is their name and their date of birth. I go in, I update the application, it embeds my NPN. I can even choose the very same plan, and I'm now the agent of record and I'm gonna get paid. Beautiful, man. You know how much business I stole. Oh, some of you guys probably know me. Like, I hate that guy. I'm not kidding. You can do it. All you have to do is know their name and their date of birth. You go in there, you search it. It pulls up. You update the application. All you have to do is go next, 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 next. Submit it. It embeds your NPN, and you're now the agent of record. But you have to have an election. You just can't do that right now. Okay? When you're out of the season, you can't do it. You gotta have an election so you can acquire, not steal, you can acquire a ton of business. I was gonna say, what about if they move or change jobs? Well, th throughout the year, those are SCPs where you can acquire that business. All right, we're going, here we go. I got a couple more to go. Here's the other deal that these people do, and this is what I tell them. You enroll in the plan, do you think that these people go in there and check the network? They don't. They just, they think it's a great plan. Then they come back with, oh, Obamacare is terrible. Well, it's terrible because you didn't check the network. Okay, you probably, the next one is probably, you didn't check the drugs either. There's a formulary. Right now, one of my plans had a huge increase in 2022. Everybody switched to another plan. What happened was that other plan did not, their formulary is pretty tight. So a lot of the meds that were covered over here are not covered over here. It is what it is. Are they stuck with it? You can't switch? Nope. They're stuck with that plan. But have them download the GoodRx app because they... You can GoodRx it. You can Glick Rx it. There's GoodRx and there's Glick Rx. And there's a couple of other ones out there. There's, right now the rumor is don't use GoodRx because they are now selling Medicare. Mm -hmm. You didn't know that, did you? Yep. Stay away from good RX guys. They're quite, they got bought out by eHealth. Wow. Yep. Failure to submit the correct documents. Let's say somebody gets assistance and they're paying 20 bucks a month. That plan probably costs a grand. Okay. They're getting whatever amount of subsidy. 
900 bucks. If they don't submit the documents that are required, they will lose that. And guess what? That's the benefit of having an agent. I'm going to remind you. I'm going to hound you. I'm going to be emailing you. We're going to get those documents submitted for you. The income. Some of these people don't know how to calculate their income. You may make 100000 but if you're self-employed and you have 40000 in expenses, what do you put? 60. It's the adjusted gross, not your total income. People screw this up all the time. That's the benefit of having an agent. Number seven, last and final, automatic enrollment. Don't auto renew. Now, I would say half of my book auto renews because I can't get to everybody. It just happens, okay? But auto renewing, a lot of times they have no idea. They stay where they're at, which is good for me. I still get paid. Commissions do not drop for renewals. They stay the same. You get bonuses on those renewals too. Yes, it doesn't have to be new members. You get paid on those people that are that renew the following year. How do you think the auto renew is that something? They you just let them do their thing. You do nothing. You don't want them to auto renew because you can try to find them a better plan. You, you, exactly. That rate went maybe had gone from zero to a hundred. I could put them in a different plan. Maybe their income changed. You know, there's there's all these changes that I got to figure out and see if I can help them out. So the question is, why haven't you started? Why aren't you joining us? So this is what I have for you guys. Just like I did on the Medicare side, I got some support for you. I know ACA, all right? I know it. Every Wednesday I have ACA trainings. I have a, I created a course. If you join us, I'll give you the course and you don't have to pay for it. I do sell it, but we will give it to you for free. Also, every Wednesday I do a training. It's a four week training. So every four weeks I restart it. Okay, in four weeks, I'll get you selling ACA. 8.30 a.m. Central. All right, so there, there it is. It's a four-week ACA course. Okay, we even got a chat room, just like we do on the Medicare side. We have an ACA chat room. Hey, guess what? I got another book. <laughs> I got us another smart book. All right, so in my smart book, and again, I get so mad at agents. Okay, I got in here... I've got everything that you need where you don't have to call me. You're still gonna call me because I need to unstuck you. You're gonna get stuck, all right? But it's got the federal poverty chart. If you're dealing with resident aliens, okay, they've got all kinds of cards. There's a lot of data that needs to get entered. How do you find out what you gotta enter? I've got all those in there. I've got the income. What's considered income? What's not considered income? How do you determine a household? All that is in this book, all right? Who wants one? Ah, I need Matt, let's do another drawing, man. I only got two. All right, but guess what? Sign up, join us, become part of our team, and I'll give you the book. You can download it from, from Dropbox, or uh, when you're in our trainings, or on the GroupMe, just tell me, Luis, I need the smart book. And I will give you the link, take it to Office Max, five bucks, and you're rocking. Yes, sir. So, like, I'm appointed with Cigna for Medicare. How do I get appointed for ACA? You do it again. The, there are two branches. Go to their website or do we go through you? You're going to go through you, whoever your upline is and request, tell them, hey, I, I bought into what Luis is talking about. I want to do ACA. They'll send you contracting links and they'll have, you guys cannot read emails to save your life. We give you detailed instructions on what to do and you still don't do it. <laughs> very, very detailed. Do this and this. It's right there and you still don't do it. So once you get contracted, once you get certified, you join my classes, I get you all set up in four weeks. Okay, in four weeks, you're up and running. Yes, ma'am. Have you ever assisted a client in getting a special enrollment period? Like not a real special enrollment period? So it works for this agency, and they sold ACA year-round, but what they did was they had people for and get denied. They're denied. You can do some tricks, but guess what, guys? There's tricks. There, there are some ways that you can play the game. Here's the deal. This is my livelihood. Okay, this is a long-term play. Okay, this right here, I am not going to risk a license, an appointment, to help one individual. Because guess what? You guys don't know this. Okay. An, uh, an insured will throw you under the bus in a heartbeat. Okay, I'm going through a $600,000 E&O claim right now. 
The good thing is I have all my phone conversations recorded. I got cameras in my office. This guy is claiming I didn't do this. I'm like, but still, it's a headache. I got to deal with it, okay? These insurers will throw you under the bus, okay? As soon as they're gonna be, you're, you're hurt financially, you're gone, okay? So I don't like to play games. Yes, you can. You can, you can lie about their income and get them all this help that they're not supposed to. There's a ton, a ton of things that you can do, but we're doing this long-term, not short-term. So I don't like to screw around with, with uh, creating fake enrollments or fake SCPs. You can, you can go in there, guys, and you can say that they lost coverage. And right now, guess what? You don't even have to submit documentation as proof. Do I want to do that? Uh-uh. Now, if an insurer tells me I lost coverage, put it in an email and tell me. I want my documentation that you're telling me you lost coverage. I'm not risking my license or my livelihood because of you. Okay? All right, and then the final, why do you want to join us? Well, you get me, all right? You get me. Again, I'm the guy who's going to unstuck you when you're stuck, all right? All right, you, just like on the, on the Medicare side, Luis, I'm stuck. What do I do here? I do the very same thing for ACA. And Chad was right. Sometimes, I mean, I can multitask. Okay, I was an officer in the military. You have to learn how to multitask. You have to delegate. I've got good team members. And, and again, I'll be very, very cold when you call me. What do you want? How can I help you? Give me the question. Don't tell me how you're doing. And I told please, you know, I'm like, how can I help you? Luis, I'm stuck. I'll, I'll answer your question and I'm, I'll do it. Yes, ma'am. The question is, if people enroll in plan with zero premium, are you still paid commission? That's a great question. If they pay zero, do you still make money? Yes. How do you get paid? Sure. No idea. PM, PM. Ah. Per member, per month. There was one carrier that was paying commission, but it wasn't the, co it wasn't, no. There was one carrier paying a percentage of the premium, but it wasn't the premium that the insured paid, it was the total. Mm 